long, but this year, I think more importantly, the fans want to know, walk us through all the new hairdos. We have Wes with the volume, you, what do we got this year? What I got, tell me what I got. What it, what it look like I got going on here? I don't know, like, I don't, I don't know what it's called. Okay, okay, well, what, what I have is a mohawk. Um, it's kind of similar to Wes's, uh, not as much volume as you described. Um, but I wanted to do the beard a little bit this year, so I, I decided to grow the beard out. Um, you, can, you like a little, like, older, yeah, more mature type man. Exactly, you know, I don't want to, but I also don't want to look like I'm, I'm not 22. I don't want, you know, the league to say, oh, like, he's old. Like, no, I'm young. I'm very young. I just happen to have great features that my mama gave me. So um, that's my hairdo. Uh, Dirk, he still has the Ellen. Um, the Ellen cut. Yeah. Uh, D. Will, he's got his hair back. Oh, I noticed that. That's yeah, so big, big they said they lay, he laid a mat on top of the ball spot, but. JJ's tight. He has a you know. JJ cut. stays with the tight Puerto Rican fade, um, so that's that's real that's real nice of him. Uh, Dwight actually had a really nice really nice haircut, but he decided to cut it because it was a little out of control. Um, Boga has the 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 simple cut. Harrison has the simple clean cut. Um, I don't think we have too many hairdos. No, no. I was actually really impressed, though, with the personality and everything this year. Uh, on court, how have you been doing all summer, working hard, but in the gym? What's your summer been like? Uh, my summer has been very full, um, whether it's, you know, training or spending time with somebody. Um, you know, I like to think of my rookie year in two parts. It's the rookie season, and then it's the rookie off season. And uh, finally, I feel like I'm finished with my rookie year because I went through the rookie off season, where you're getting pulled in so many different directions, um, and you feel like you don't really have time to do so many things. It's either traveling or you're, or you're working out. So um, I think I handle it pretty well. Um, next summer, it'll be even better, just as this season will be, will be better than last season. So um, you know, I think I have it overall. I think I had a great summer. Cool. Well, um, you know, just last question as far as DA, you saw his clown and say you didn't know your way around town, but now you've been in Dallas for a year. How much you've loved just being here? I love being here. I've been as, you know, south as Oak Cliff to get some chitlins and some, some soul food, and I've been as north as Frisco to get Cheesecake Factory, um, you know, it, or Plano, all of that. So I've been up and down the tollway, up and down 75. I can even tell you about 35 east. Wow, that's impressive. You know, so I, I, I know my way around the city now, and it's pretty cool because uh, when different people come into town to visit and they stay at the house, it's not, a, it's not about being in that little five-mile uptown radius anymore. I can kind of broaden their horizons and go out a little bit more. Awesome. Good luck. Thanks so much.